Hi, my name is Maureen D. I work at US Bank Payment Services Business Line as a marketing associate. So for my daily job, it may be uh, different from the typical job responsibilities of a banker. So there are three parts of my daily job. The first part is to prepare marketing materials. Uh, that means if we have a new product or services, I will write the content, design the flyer, then translate it into different languages so that people from different cultural backgrounds can know about our new services. And the second part is media planning. So what it means is that I will have a budget from our company each month, and then I will decide how I want to spend that part of money. For example, if I want to buy some advertisement on the TV station, magazine, radio, or newspaper. So I need to decide on how I want to use that budget. And the next part is event planning. That means I will research on some business events online. Then I register and bring our products to the event so that we can exhibit there and more people can know about our products. So that's my job. And my interest in marketing started from my high school when I edited the magazine for all of our student clubs. So at that time, I just feel the world of media is very interesting. So I chose the major of communications during my college. And then I interned at several uh, different media, such as TV station, radio station, and advertisement company. So during this process, I still feel uh, media and communications is my passion. So I studied all the way till my graduate school in communications. And after I graduated, I saw this opportunity posted by US Bank. So I sent my resume and luckily I got offer uh, of this job. And this is how I started. And actually this is my first job. And today I will share with you some of my knowledge and experience on budget. So do you know what's budget? As I just mentioned, every month I will have a budget from the company for me to decide what kind of media I want to put our advertisement on. And it's same for our daily life. We also have a budget. So in our daily life, budget is a record of our saving and spending. And it is a plan for us to manage our money better. And a budget is a very important tool for us to achieve our personal goal. For example, if I want to buy a house after five years, I need to do some budgeting so that I know how much money I need to save every month and how much money I can spend every month. So I can make sure that after five years, I can achieve my goal to buy that house. And most of the time, people can put their budget into different categories. And take myself as an example. I have my budget in categories such as clothing, housing, food, transportation, entertainment, and other. So when you plan your budget, you can put them into different categories as well. Um, and the next part I want to let you know is that budget is different based on different people because different families and people have different uh, situation. For example, I'm married and I don't have child, so I have my unique budget. But if I change one family, maybe the couple are um, married, but they don't have um, any children, but they have their parents live with them. Or if we change another family, maybe the resident is a single parent and they have three or four children. So for each of the family, the situation is different. So when you plan your budget, you need to consider your specific situation. Um, and today, I also want to talk about two important things about budgeting. So the first one is that when you plan your budget, you need to put your needs before your wants. So you may ask me, what's needs? So uh, needs is what you need for your basic survival. For example, we can see 
uh, food is one of our needs because we need to food to live with and housing can also be one of our needs so what's wants? well um, we just said that needs can be our food and housing so let's think about that if you already have enough food to live with and you are full already but you just want to uh, have more food such as some chocolates some cakes or a bag of chips are those still the needs for your basic survival or uh, you already have a house but you still want to build a big swimming pool at your backyard are those still needs so in this case we call those things that are not essential for our survival wants so when you plan your budget you want to put your needs always before your wants so you can make sure that you have enough money to fulfill your basic needs of your survival and the second important thing is that um, something called you want to pay yourself first so what it means is that you want to automatically save some portion of your income uh, for your future use every month so take our house example we talked about just now let's say we want to buy a house five years later so maybe you want to let's say save 300 each month automatically into your saving account so after five years you are sure that you have that portion of money that you can pay for your house so when you plan your budget you want to have a portion of money that you can pay yourself first okay uh, now i'll share with you four steps that you can start to plan your budget the first step is to determine your monthly net income so that you know how much money you have to spend each month and the next step you can categorize your expenditures for example you can take out your notebook or a sheet of white paper and then you can write down different categories like we just said you can put on food which means how much you spend at grocery store each month and you can put down housing and you want to consider your rent or your mortgage each month and then you can put down transportation and you want to include your payment on your gas or your car insurance every month and you can also write down entertainment and you want to calculate for example if you go out with your friends to the cinemas or you go travel how much you really spend and most of the time i'll include another category called other and for example in december maybe we will buy some gifts for our families during holidays i'll put those expenses into other and for example sometimes if i fall sick i will also put those kind of medical expenses into other but if you have regular medical expenses maybe you want to do a separate category as medical okay and after we finalize our categories the next step is to determine your expenses on all the needs and obligations which means our basic expenses on the food housing and on all the stuff that we need for our essential survival so you want to determine those numbers first to make sure you can meet the needs of your basic survival and the last step is um, to determine your discretionary income which means your flexible income for you to do other things on the basis that you don't need to worry about your survival for example like we just said the beautiful clothing uh, go to travel or some personal development like yoga class painting class and then the last step you can plan those expenses so in that way you can have your personal budget okay and here i want to share with you some data from the bureau of labor and the statistics those are some um, average percentage of our family budget in the u.s and i believe those are good reference for you when you plan your own budget and of course you can adjust these numbers based on your personal situation a little bit so this is what i have to say today about budget 
and I hope that you can start your personal budgeting from today. And I think this is really a good habit for your lifetime. And for me, I have an app in my cell phone. So every time if I have a expense or I have some income, I will just record it there. So I can track if I waste some money on some of the categories this month. So I can ask myself to do better next month. And also if you have some financial goals, by budgeting, I think you can achieve your goals easier. Thank you.